Hi darlings, this is Christina at Makeup Box FYI and look at the precious. Look, I know a lot of people have been saying she's a basic, you know what? I got my thoughts. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, darlings, so as you know, Mama Pat came out with Mothership 11, Sunlit Seduction. Now, when the promos initially came out, I thought it was going to be... I like that dress in your hair. It's so fun. Thank you, baby. Well, bye bye. So, um, sorry, my son was complimenting me on my hair and my dress. That little boy has got a thing for girls with long hair and dresses. Well, initially I was thinking that it was going to be like a Barbie collection. I was like, oh my gosh, there's something I've been waiting for. A couple, okay, I should say there's two things I've been waiting for with Pat McGrath in general. I've been waiting for a very pink Astro Blitz shade and a type of peachy copper Astro Blitz shade, right? If you watch my video, my YSL video, you know that pretty like sand iridescent color that was a total fail for me. I was hoping she would come out with something similar at some point. I'm kind of kicking myself that I didn't purchase it when it had the 30% off code. For some reason it was floating around and I had it in my cart, but I thought, no, I was really trying to be good to my budget. So in that respect, I'm glad I waited, but I could have got it for less money, but I got this actually from Sephora. So it came much quicker and I had like a reward of some sort. So I was able to save like 10 bucks on it. But let's not waste any time for several people. One, if you know Alicia Archer, AKA Kinky Sweat, you know she is the Pat McGrath guru. She reviews them amazingly. She has like every uh, mothership. That's just who you go to if you wanna get the tea on Pat McGrath and how they perform. So I watched it and I was like, oh my God, I think those are the colors that I'm waiting for. This here color and this here color was everything I was wanting. Swatch them here. Okay, so I don't know if this is doing it justice, but we have a very bright pink, which I'm gonna do similar comparisons later because I have many Astro Blitz shades from Pat McGrath because I've been trying to attain this one in various like finishes and palettes, but nothing I have is quite like this one here. These were the two that I said, I know, I can be bought with just Astro Blitz shades. Like, do I do, do I use a lot of her matte shades? I don't. Well, they're fantastic. I don't ever use them, but I've been playing a little bit with them and I don't know. I'm feeling like I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this palette. I'll do one look and a second look here. So Sienna Mystique. And what I found with this one in particular, I feel like these mattes are like creamier in this particular palette. The few times I have tried these colors, I was like, oh, this is much easier to like blend. It's not as, I would say some of the colors in her other, cause I only have Utopian Dream, which I'll swatch, I'll do separate swatches of at the end. But some of those mattes are a little harder to, to blend, I would say. Like the Sienna one. And since I want to lean into like this copperish tone, I'm going to now, hmm, this hypnotic bronze. This is not a color I typically would use. Like, I don't know, it's something different for me. So let's, let's just pack this on here. And this is one of her shimmer shades. That's pretty. Smoky, sexy looks. And I know a lot of Pat fans were really disappointed in this palette, you know, a lot of pinks. And it is even why I kind of was, didn't purchase it right away, because initially I was. It was part of one of the things I was going to review. And I took a step back because I was like, I don't know if I like all these colors, you know? And online is very different than seeing it in person. So I was gonna make that decision a little later once I did watch a few reviews to decide if it's something I wanted to invest in and something that I'd get my use out of. And this is really pretty actually. Pretty like 
chocolatey brown. This is giving all the fall vibes, but let me tell you, in California, there's nobody's fall anytime soon here. I just wanna also run this down the bottom because it's so pretty. It makes me excited for fall. Okay, so I wanna really lean into that chocolate warm color. So let's go into Vermilion Dusk, I believe it is. So let's just pack that on the center, on the outer corner to just deepen this color a little. Nice. It's a nice richness. If you want to lean into a nighttime more vampy look. This is almost leaning kind of purplish brown. Intense radiance. That's this here. I'm gonna put that in the inner corner because guys we're about to play with some Astro Blitz in just a moment, okay? And we are gonna go into one of my personal favorites, this color here, which is Astro Gilded Aura. Mmm. Buttery, smooth. This, I was uh, kind of looking over the reviews and they were saying how this color actually, actually these um, Astro Blitz shades are different than the Utopian Dream Blitz. And it's the only other Mothership palette I have. And I can admit that this one is a little more creamy. I feel like the sparkles aren't as chunky but still very pretty. It is almost like a very sophisticated Astro Blitz shade, right? Guys, look at this. And I have to say, this is probably a palette I will pull out a lot in the next coming months. This okay, so now we're gonna work on this one, okay? BRB. All right, guys, so now we're gonna lean into a more pinky type, because that is really, uh, you know, near and dear to my heart. I love pink. And so we're gonna go into this color here, Nude Rose. So I can't say this isn't like a pink that I haven't seen in some of her other palettes, more specifically like the Bridgerton palettes. Um, this one is not as smooth as the other color, which was that Sienna Mystique. I feel like that one was a little easier to apply but that's okay this one is giving a little kind of a purpley pink which is really cute i've been loving leaning into colors like that that purplish pinkish color i have some content i'm thinking about in regards to displaying these type of colors which i think are so flattering for women with olive skin with um medium skin tones darker skin tones something about these purpley pink colors really just or like our version of like Barbie pink, if that makes sense. Because, you know, depending on your tone, you know, obviously some pinks look better on you than others. So I'm actually gonna go into this other Astro Blitz shade, Astro Amethyst Allure. And I'm just gonna pop her right over the top here. Yeah, that was silly. I don't know why I use that brush. Flat brush. This is, I think, some type of Morphe brush. Some old. That's actually really cute. I'm gonna use my my Smith brush because I love this brush. It's just so nice for these type of shades. This is the Smith 253, I believe. I'll have to start linking my my brushes that I pretty much use all the time. I did a video on those, so I'll just have to pull that information for you guys. I went to the Creme de la Creme. This is the Astro Pink Fetish color. Let's use the clean side. Mm, mm, mm. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Color. On the inner. In the inner. 
lid just to brighten up the colors. Beautiful, beautiful. A little bit more here. You know, since it's like my only color, I use it as the base, but I'm also going to use it to create some depth, especially over that pretty Astro Blitz purple. And then we're going to put that same pink color under the eye. These are the two looks. These, I know they say she basic, but she beautiful. I can't help but understand why she keeps leaning into these colors because they're so dang wearable. Very little fallout, but you know, on a normal basis, you probably shouldn't put your foundation and everything on before you put this makeup on just because it could fall out a little bit. You know, not too bad considering the colors that these are. So let me go put my lashes, liner, everything else. And then we're going to go over my overall thoughts and some swatch comparisons so you can see just how different this palette may be. All right, guys, BRB. Okay, darlings, this is the final look. I put on some liner, mascara. I put on a little blush, a little bronzer, and I use my Coco um bloom color because this one is great because i have two different colors this very um copper leaning and a very pinky purple i thought it was perfect it's not too overwhelming everything i use i always link down below so feel free to look at any of my affiliate links i know people do look at them and use them occasionally and i thank you so much it's a great support to my channel as i'm still small and i'm trying to grow a little so i want to show you the two motherships i own so this is a Hutopian Dream, okay? This is the new one, a Sunlit um, Seduction, okay? So Hutopian Dream and Sunlit Seduction. And as you can see, they're similar, not the same. Now, can you see I already hit pan in those Astro Blitz shades? Yeah, because I love them. That's why I will always use it now this one broke off so yeah there's that but let me show you in swatch form as well this one is the newest sunlit seduction and this one is the utopian dream now side by side you would think they're pretty similar and i'm not gonna lie they're similar they are cousins not twins and I actually think these would make such nice complementary colors together because look at them. Now, that pinkish color, the pink purple, the pink with the green shift, which I was trying so hard when I first bought this to purchase something close to that Amrezy. Amrezy came out with a palette. I still have it somewhere, but it wasn't as good as this one, but it had a similar color and that's what drew me. But if you look and see it, that pinky green and you see the pink new one, you see it's a totally different tone. Now, I told you I had some comparisons. So I have the four quads with the Astro Blitz shades. Let me show you the pink color. Okay. Still different. Still has a different undertone, almost like a a silvery base and then the purple is very similar but I would say this one leans a little more reddish undertone I will as you see even the Astro Blitz from previous palettes aren't exactly the same there is the Bridgerton palette which I bought both of them because I love this color story of both of them so once again hit pan if I, there's anything I'm hitting pan on it's those say so as you see, even the Astro Blitz from previous palettes aren't exactly the same. And then, of course, there is the Bridgerton palette, which I bought both of them because I love this color story of both of them. So once again, hit pan. If I, there's anything I'm hitting pan on, it's those Astro Blitz shades. This was another pink I was trying to find, and I'll swatch it here. So as you can see, this one's similar, but does lean a little more of a lightest pink. It probably has the most truest pink I have. The others have some shifts of other color undertones, which are super pretty, but not exactly pink. So you can see this one leans very vibrant, like Barbie pink and in an Astro Blitz shade. That's phenomenal to me. Show you my sadness of the YSL, the color I was hoping was gonna like make me feel better and not purchase this palette. 
so it's this one here and let me swatch it next to that peachy color oh it's right here it almost leans a little yellow in some lights it looks more gold so let me swatch it there and as you can see yeah it's obviously not the same let's do a double swatch right put that there so you can see yeah I don't know why I thought it was going to be, but you can see it's very, it's just very opaque. It's not very opaque. I love that this palette, I'm going to be able to use these Astro Blitz shades for a lot of other palettes. I also think it's a great neutral smoky eye. The only color I didn't use, guys, is this very beautiful, like, um, like rose copper, like, coppery color it's almost like a rose gold and i think this would be very beautiful all over the lid like i would probably do this as like a one and done color and then if you want to give it a little something something you could put that astro that astro blitz peachy shade oh look at that that is fantastic is she basic you know probably but with good reason and I have to say, I do like those avant-garde looks, but if you're looking for something that's gonna give you an everyday glam, this color story is gorgeous. Now, Pat will be coming out with sales, so if you are a collector of these, I would wait for the sale, because you saw, they're very similar, right? It's not like you have to run out and get it. I got it because I felt like I needed some of those Astro Blitz shades, and I also review makeup, so it was something I was gonna do, but, um, yeah, I love this palette. Dare I say, I love it more than Hutopian Dream. And you know, I've had this for about a year and a half now, so some of the shades are probably a little drier, but still beautiful, and I would actually use them in conjunction, so I'm really excited to put some pretty colors together. Yeah, so guys, that is it. I wondering what do you guys think did you like this palette or is this something you want to add to your collection or are you just going to skip it completely um just curious about your guys's thoughts i love it and yeah so guys there's going to be some changes happening very soon in my own personal life that is going on that you guys will be privy to in the next few weeks i think i'm not going to say anything right now but just know a lot of background changes um, things that I can do have a little more freedom with my channel I'm so excited to share with you guys um, but I'm waiting a little bit I'm, some some things to be a little bit more final before I you know tell you more so uh, I hope you guys have a great day a wonderful week and I will catch you in the next one all right darlings <laughs>